What up everyone, it's George with Silver Hammer Surveillance, your resident home and business security expert. Time for a new installment on our Security 101 series. Today we're gonna to talk about the best locations to put outdoor security cameras on your home. Let's go. Okay, when you're talking about outdoor security on a home, specifically security cameras, it's all about entry points. So you want your garage door covered, you want your front door covered, you want the back door covered, you have an upper deck, you want that covered, lower patio, you want that covered. Interior garage, also very important, but it's all about entry points. And then in addition to doors, if you have low windows, those would also be a key, but it just seems like thieves don't use windows anymore. So in this case, we have the Nest IQ camera mounted here over the garage, so we can see the entire driveway and front yard because it's got that nice 130 degree angle. So that camera not only has the video, but it also has audio and it has facial recognition. So in this case, you get an alert the second somebody is seen in the view of the camera. So it could be a dog walker, it could be a neighbor, something you know you don't really need to know about, but it's better to have that alert just in case it's somebody you do need, do need to know about. And then with two-way audio, if you do see somebody that doesn't belong, you can use that speaker on that camera and tell them to get out of your yard. Tell them to get away. Tell them you have a dog. Tell them you called the police. Street justice. Whatever you're going to tell them, you can tell them that through the camera and scare them away. Okay, moving on to the front door. Most of the time, the front door can be covered with a video doorbell. A little cheaper in most cases than a full-blown camera. Does pretty much the same thing. On this house, it's kind of a disadvantage because the doorbell's on the side. A lot of doorbells face straight out. So unfortunately, this doorbell just sees to the side, but still, it's gonna give you facial recognition. Anybody, anytime somebody's up here on this porch, you're gonna know about it, whether they ring the bell or not. And no matter what, whether they ring the bell or not, you're gonna be able to talk to them, scare them away. This also has package detection. So if there's a package within the view of the camera, it'll tell you if it's been moved. But another key feature is the two-way audio. So you can make somebody think you're home when you're not, and that's huge. So you can just tell them you're inside doing laundry, you just don't want to answer the door, but you could actually be on the beach in the Bahamas. So again, entry points, entry points, entry points. Front door is huge though. Now a lot of people will ask me about the side of a house. A lot of times the side of the house is not necessary because if somebody does go to the side of the house, you're gonna have them on the front and the back cameras. Now in this case, we have a window here so the interior garage camera, which we'll talk about in a minute, covers this. But if you wanted to get the person before they got inside, yeah, you could put a camera over here. But it's just not as necessary as the front and the back because, like I said, thieves just don't seem to use windows anymore. On this home, we do have this back door here. So it wouldn't be a bad idea to have a camera back here. But again, it's covered with the interior garage camera. But the sides are kind of an added bonus, but not absolutely necessary unless you do have a side door like this one or an entry point that a thief could get into. So on the other side of this house, we have zero entry points. So again, this is not as important to cover. Anybody that comes back here really doesn't have anything they can do. And you're gonna see them go to this side from the front and the back cameras. So again, you gotta prioritize, but definitely cover entry points. All right, moving on from the side yard, you've got the backyard. Very important point of entry to cover, especially in this case where this house is backing up to a golf course. Very secluded, but yet people have access, so you want the backyard covered. So in this case, we've got a video doorbell on the sliding door. And then we have a camera up above covering the entire deck. But in the backyard, it's usually about any door, upper deck, lower patio, whatever it may be, but you want a camera on each. In this particular case, we have the upper deck and the lower patio. Both are covered. So all your entry points are covered. Last but not least, it's great to have a camera on the interior of the garage. And usually this can be an indoor or outdoor camera. Most of the time, the elements will not affect it in here. But this camera is huge because of this door right here. Nobody locks that door. In this case, this particular person does, which is great. 
but most of the time they do not. So if somebody gets in your garage door, they have a jammer, you leave the door open accidentally, whatever it is, they can enter your house right here. And that's usually the door that causes the most problems. But this camera here is huge. So in this case with the Nest IQ, they've got facial recognition and audio. So the second somebody opens that door and it's a person, they're gonna get an instant alert. They can talk through them to that camera. But the most important thing is they're gonna know about it right away. Okay, so to recap, cover that front door. Get yourself a video doorbell, two-way audio, and make them think you're home when you're not. Cover your exterior garage door, which usually gets a lot of your front yard. Cover the interior of your garage. Huge point of entry right there. Lock that interior door. I'm telling you, when we come in behind these horrific stories of break-ins, that's the one people regret the most. Lock that interior garage door and then watch it with the camera. Moving on to the sides, cover it if you need to. Cover it if you have a door. Cover it if you have a window you're worried about. But in my eyes, least priority, unless you've got a huge entry point on the side. Backyard, huge. Especially if your backyard's secluded. Cover that upper deck, cover that lower patio, and any windows you have back there that a thief can get in. But I'm telling you, thieves are mostly lazy. They don't like windows anymore. But all about those entry points. So again, best locations to put exterior security cameras on a home. Hope you like this video. Hope you like the Security 101 series. If you do like the video, hit that little like button. Subscribe to our channel. Hit that bell notification button. Get notified of videos in the future. Until the next one, peace and love. Stay safe.